This is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in my studio in Spring Hill, Florida, and I have a bunch of implements. I have a chopstick, I have a large bamboo skewer, a tongue depressor, the handle that's left over after I made a toothy tool by pulling off the silicone spatula head, and another one that's larger, and a tongue depressor. And all of those are lodged in the covering to a packaging for a multi-month <laughs> dose of flea medication. But I have another one, and some of these fit, and some of them don't. But the best one of all is really something I picked up at the local church bazaar kitchen store or kitchen area. And I've lined it with a little bit of Glad cling wrap. And I'm going to put the remaining dribbles of my Chantilly lace. It has a little bit of distilled water in it in the bottom. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I want to do it. <laughs> I'm going to put this aside so I can mix some more of that in a while. And right now, it needs to go somewhere else. And I found a color I'd like to have in there. So I'm going to make a dip dish with some Mayan gold. Some true silver. Make sure there's no paint chips clinging to the bottom of that. There's always paint chips. I don't want to waste too much of this because it could be a mistake, but I kind of usually have a pretty good sense of these things. This is some Midnight Shadow, which is a lot like Prussian Blue, and I just dripped, dripped dropped something in there. A piece of paint chip. I kind of think if I added part of the colors now and more later, I'd probably be happier. But I'm going to do it now anyway. This is the Baltic Amber. And I'm going to have to get the feel of it as I go along. This is some Golden Poppy. I may stop soon because I need to put some color down. This is Dark Waters. I need to put some color down on my canvas. Not a lot. And this is a mixture of Neptune's Gaze, Chantilly Lace, and some Frozen. And I have no idea how this is going to work, but I'm going to take my little tools, put them all in this container over here for now. And I think the first one I wanted to use was the bamboo uh, handle from the <laughs> from the spatula. But the little one is kind of looking interesting too. I can roll them or put them down flat. So here's my 10 by 20 inch canvas. And I think I'm going to use French silk. Because it's going to be a, a background that you can see this time, in theory at least, unless something changes that. And I want to use mead and black on the other side. And I really want to see what happens to the French silk when I put it down on a black background. And I'm dragging a little paint chip. Now the old me would have just decided to leave those marks because they're cool and maybe the new me is capable of doing that. The thing is I'll still have to I'll have to seal it to make sure that the matte part of the canvas I really like those marks though. Just off off pushing any of the French silk under the edges. A little Liquitex gloss medium with some distilled water, once your painting is really dry, is a good, is a really good cure-all for... I'm just gonna, quick like a bunny, take this moment to like seal that black so it's something as opposed to nothing.
There we go. Now I can just flip it around. I've got a few bubbles. It'll probably be going away. I don't want to use a torch right now because the paint is thin on the canvas. And I wanted it thin on the canvas. It's not as thin as I want it. Oh, look at the shimmer in that. Wow. All right, I'm gonna leave the remaining French silk in my spatula because I don't care in the least if it mixes. I do care what that is. I'm not even sure what that is. And I don't have a computer thing that does not belong. That's really weird. That was a very weird thing that does not belong. And my tweezers seem to have taken, I know where my tweezers are. It's time to grab my tweezers. They're sitting on my, my wash bucket. Can't let that happen again. All right, the nice thing about the spatula, the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula by Good Grips, is that it carries a nice blade of paint. You can pull it down. Push it up also. I don't know that that design on the other side is going to be able to stay, but it might be nice to remember it for future reference. Now I didn't want a lot of this black mixing, although I say that and I remember that I was contemplating putting some black in. Let's just get rid of all of that. The Mead and Black is on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on my link tree. My link tree is under Show More, under the video. The Amazon Black, the Amazon link, <laughs> the, the Mead and Black on the Amazon link is the blackest black I know of. Once you put pouring medium in it, it still maintains some intense integrity as far as blackness goes. Okay, so put that in the bucket. Once my two fingers I got paint on and find out what the deal is. Maybe I'll go through first and use the tongue depressor just to see what it's going to be like. A little pull. Go from both sides. And maybe in the middle. Pretty colors. Loving the colors. The prison pour colors are the bomb. Now, as I put it down, I'm going to start to mix the colors if I'm not careful inside the dish. So I'm going to jump from side to side so that the purity of the color stays until such time as I decide that I have to um, add more colors. I might get to leave that background with the French silk. Don't have to use the full height. And you can always add to the length. I'm just putting it down and pulling it a little bit. As soon as I feel the suction from the paint below it. Oh, I kind of like those dots there. <laughs> Commonly referred to as drips. This should make it really easy to cover the edges too. I like playing with the different widths. Oh yeah. I don't think the French silk is going to hurt anything. This might be really neat. I think I'm going to use probably the tongue depressor for all of this. I 
go, I could turn around the tongue depressor, I could turn around my paint boat too, which is a grease catching tray from like a Foreman grill or a Panini press, I don't know. You could probably cross these over also. It's kind of a, um, it's not an overly obnoxious bright color design. I mean, there's no pinks so far anyway. I was contemplating using something like a small card, and I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a few things in the middle. I see no reason why not. Although it doesn't seem to be doing as good a job as what I was using. Hopefully I'm not blocking everything. I like the texture of the card too. Makes me wonder if I should try one of the other tools just for grins. I think we should do that. The question is, all right, the other spatula handle is, wow. I'm gonna go to the short, the, um, the less wide span. And it goes all the way across. I wanna do the lengthways. This could be a mistake on my part. Now it's stuck in the paint. I mixed my paint up. Oh, okay. Cluster. Well, I'm going for it anyway. Oh, I like that. Yeah. As it pulls up, it leaves a new kind of pattern behind that adds to the design, I think. I don't know if it would be my first choice every time. Now I'm kind of interested in throwing a little bit of bright orange into my container. As soon as I open it, yeah. Important aspect. Yeah, I think I'm going for a little bit more of that. I do not believe that it is going to hurt anything. Yep, yeah, that adds a pop of color. The spaces down here in the French silk are going to wind up becoming darker when I seal it. It's just different and interesting. Or a barcode and boring as heck. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kind of want some black in the bottom half. I'm not sure if I'm... I think I'm going to cheat. Just use... my tile for the drama. This just gives me all kinds of ideas. You could definitely run a basting brush the full length down and change it up incredibly. I 
All right, it's different and it's cool and I gotta figure out what to do with the paint that's left over. But I think I'm gonna try and shimmer this at you. It doesn't look like anything I've seen, which is cool. We like that about new things. That's why I experiment. I think it could be good either way too. That's going to be so pretty. And the texture of the gaps is really neat. Yeah, that's a beauty. Let's see if we can show it without that other light on. And we'll zoom right in to the center. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Okay, so I've got three minutes left to tell you guys. I have over 20, <laughs> 2,400 videos that you can find by going to playlists, all playlists, created playlists on my YouTube channel. My new channel, oh, that French silk is just doing marvelous things under the light. Wow. I hope you can see some of that. Wow. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you very much for all the donations that help keep me painting. I really need them. And I really appreciate you guys doing that for me. And uh, currently I'm offering the opportunity for a 15 minute consultation to anybody who uh, makes a donation through PayPal and the icon is on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And there's also a link on my link tree which is under show more. Wow, I love, love, love that French silk and I'm so glad I put that little bit of orange in there. It really pops. That was orange crush by the way. The gold was Mayan gold. I think I mentioned the name of all the other colors. I'm trying to think what I should be telling you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. I can see all kind. I can see all kinds of things to do with this technique, and I've done a similar-looking painting without without the colors being similar at all. And um, <laughs> thank you again for your wonderful, kind comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate them. Um, on my link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, and. Pixels.com, Fine Art America are also in the link tree, but there are places that you can see stuff on the Facebook uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, um, wait, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. Expressionist Art, Stu Art Studio Gallery, Fancy Collectors has all of the older artworks from my YouTube videos. Uh, I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I will torch very briefly to re release any bubbles and I'll look for any, any, um, bubbles and pop them if I can see them. My paint pouring recipes are below the video. If you share my videos and you give me thumbs up and you leave me a comment or watch the commercials or any combination thereof, it's all good. I really appreciate it. Shopping my Amazon link is a bonus. My two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities. They are my first and second 100 videos for YouTubes and all the processes. Uh, my Amazon link has cool stuff on it. Spring clothing, Society6, the Gallers Clothing, all in the, all in the link tree, and uh, as well as Pixels.com, Find in America. If you can't find what you're looking for and you found something you want to see added to one of those places, just let me know in comments or send me an email through my email, which is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com, and we'll discuss it. I do sell my artwork. That's also the way to get in touch with me for my artwork. All right, you guys, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. Thank you for being here. I post at noon every day, Eastern Standard Time. Try this again. Bye for now. Priscilla out.